Today we're going to take a look at the Dell Inspiron 15 7000 series. We're going to open it up, take a look, see how to uh, remove the battery, which will also show you how to replace the battery. We'll show you how to identify the RAM and replace it. And we'll also show you how to identify the hard drive and remove and replace the hard drive. And of course we'll put it back together. So watch my video today and learn more about the inside of your Dell Inspiron 2-in-1 laptop. First thing I want to show you here is a really handy tool when you're taking things apart. This is a magnetic mat and all these squares you can number or it's a dry erase. You can put dry erase notes on here if you want. Really don't need that for today. It's a pretty basic setup. But you'll see it's slightly magnetic. Keeps your keeps your uh, screws from falling off. It's not hard magnetic, as you saw when I bent that one over, it fell. But it's enough to keep them rolling around, keep them in place. You can put dry erase notes on here, which is nice. If you don't have this, what I do recommend is, is taking a piece of paper when you're taking things apart, and that way you can put squares or circles around the item that you take off and put a note next to it. You know, this is the far left corner screw. Because a lot of screws on a lot of devices are extremely similar size but not exactly the same size if you get them in the wrong place it will not go back together correctly so I highly recommend this map we're gonna have that off site just a little bit so you can see there and they sell them online uh, do any web search I'll try to put maybe a link to one down in the uh, description below and very handy highly recommend you getting one so let's get started on the this tape part here. And if you notice here, this section kind of looks like a laptop, so today I'm just going to place each of these screws in a similar location to where I'm taking them out of the laptop. So now we got the screws removed, we're going to turn it so the back is away from me and just pick up gently on this back cover. Take that and set it aside. So let me show you a few things here that we have. This is the hard drive that we'll be removing very soon in this video. Here's your battery. You ever want to replace it and here's your slots for your RAM see there's two slots here so and it shows you actually how to remove those but I'll show you here in a second how to remove them too and then you can see uh, the fan at some point down the road if this gets clogged up with dust you'll want to take that out and vacuum it out and get it nice and clean that will severely hinder performance of your laptop if it's clogged up with and not get air circulation and cool off. Alright, so here's the battery. If you ever need to change the battery, there's two screws. One is here. And again, I'm using my magnetic mat up here. I'll use a different square. If you want to, you can write battery right there. I'm not doing that today. Interesting, there are screw holes here and they do not put the screws in there. I guess they determined they do not need them and they were cost cutting there. So the battery picks out, gently pull this connector out, and your battery's removed. If you have a replacement battery, you put this back in the exact same way. You'll see under here the back side of the touchpad. that all these ribbon cables. See, you can really appreciate electronics and the design, how tight things go in here. You got the camera up here, 
got touch pads, you got microphones, speakers are down here, speaker down here. It's really amazing all the stuff that they can put in there these days. So we're gonna gently put this connector back on. Set this in here. And put the screws back in the same exact screw hole they came in. I'm we'll gonna make them snug, not too tight. Just snug enough to hold. Next we're going to take a look at the RAM. This is the RAM where the RAM cards sit on this motherboard. Often people want to upgrade the amount of RAM they have to get more performance out of their computer. This particular computer shipped with a 12 gigabytes of RAM. It has a 8 gigabyte card and a 4 gigabyte card. So I'm going to show you how to remove those and obviously you see where they're located. There's also instructions right here for this computer but they're really easy to change out so I'm going to show you how to do that. To remove the card you pick up this cover there's two little tabs right here where my thumbs are. Pull those tabs out and the car will kind of pop up. I usually like, I like to grab it right here on the edges, but the instructions actually say to grab it right there. So it kind of springs up and pull it out. And when you re-enter it, you see this little notch here. You want to make sure that notch lines up. If it doesn't line up like right here, there's the notch and there's that notch. That would not be correct, so you flip it over. The notch is right here where my fingernail is. Let's see if I can show you that. It's hard to see in here. So just take this gently. One thing is, you know, don't want to force anything. If it doesn't feel right, stop, relook at it, and make sure everything's lined up. Slide it in. Push it down until it clicks, cover it back up. All right, now we're gonna look at the hard drive. This right here is the hard drive. It is all right there. Also really more of a solid state drive, internal drive now. Uh, looks very different from an old 2.5 hard drive. This is called an M.2 hard drive. And the M.2, this is a 2280 form factor. They make them in different sizes, so you need to match sizes if you're replacing this one with a different one. So we're going to take out this screw here. Well, it's the only screw holding it in besides the socket. And we're going to place it on our magnetic mat. And it simply slides out. And that is all of your internal solid state drive right there. And to put the hard drive back in or put a new one in, you just gently slip it back in and put the set screw back in place. All right, so now we're gonna put the case back on. Got these little tabs, pop in the front edge first. Gently push all the way around. You should hear it clicking in. Gently pop it in. So I took it apart with the Inspiron where I could read it. So I'm gonna flip it back over so it matches my screw holes that I set out here. And now just very methodically, I'm gonna go each one in order. Putting them back in. And there you have it, the back cover is back on. If you had a hard drive in it, you'd be ready to turn on and use. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and uh, down below click the like button and uh, better yet, even subscribe to the channel. You'll get updates if I release new videos on things I take apart or fix around the house. 
our general information. And uh, appreciate you watching. And there's more information in the description below uh, if you want to get some, uh, take a look down there.